Hi everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today is hashtag journal jubilee. It's an open collab and it's hosted by Perry Pico's Vlogs, Jamie Leesman and myself. And like I was saying, it is an open collab and everybody is invited to join in. You're more than welcome. As a matter of fact, I encourage you to join in. It's so much fun. And in this video, um, I'm going to give you some tips about how to journal if you haven't done any journaling yet at all. Um, you may want to start and maybe you just don't know where to get started. So basically, in my opinion, the rules are there are no rules when it comes to journaling. Okay. And I figured that out and then I had it definitely um, solidified when I was um, trying to put this particular journal together today. And I'll tell you why, because I had found a book and it was about journaling and in it it basically said my thoughts exactly okay so let me go ahead and I'm gonna start but I want to fix the camera a little bit better okay I think I have it focused in good all right so this is the front of it it's gonna be my summer book there's gonna be a lot of different things in here like birthdays um, you know vacation things 4th of July so I did add a few things to the front of this if you've been following along You'll know. Oh, by the way, I'll link all the um, the names in the description box below um, and how to you know join in on it. Okay. Um, but anyway, on the Journal Jubilee, so I added this to the front of this book this time around. This I put that little flamingo. He ripped, but I got him on there. I'm pretty sure I just added that too, and I added that word memory book, and I'm pretty sure I did that and that too. I wanted to make it a little bit more colorful. Okay. Now, this first page, I'm trying to think. No, I don't think I added anything in here, but this was, you know, put in for the Father's Day. And then, okay, so here is where I began. Okay, I went sticker crazy in this book, okay? So I put some stickers up here, and I put the King of Hearts card. That was a Father's Day card that I got at um, Dollar Tree. And then I put that little Happy Birthday sticker and then, you know, I can't remember where I got them, but they came in a pack. And I'm starting to wonder if I got them at Dollar Tree because there was a whole bunch of them, but I cannot remember for sure, okay? But I may have got those in the teacher section at Dollar Tree because I know it's been a while since I got them. So these are window, that's a window cling right there, okay? And these are just basically every sticker that you see here, I got it at the Dollar Tree. You know how they have those stickers hanging up in the aisles? They have one aisle that has like a bunch of stickers in it. So I got those. And this is um, the two pages that I went kind of sticker happy on. This particular page over here on the left, pretty much almost every sticker was on a page that I got at Dollar Tree. And I think these were different though up there. That one. And then we went, you know, same thing over here. I went kind of, I tried to do everything for summer. Like here's a picnic. You know, I was looking for people to put on it, and I think I might see if I can find some people, because in particular, I want to say it's this next page. Yeah, that one. In particular, I wanted to put, you know, somebody there, because, but the next page is like camping, but anyway, these are so cute, right? I love these. Summer vacation, there's an arrow. Okay, so here is where the tips, and they're not really my tips, but... If I could have put my tips in words, it would have been, but not this particular one. This was an idea that I had not heard of. So this one says, if you have bought books that aren't the exact exact shape or size that you desire, you know, for the journaling, you can always use a craft knife, ruler, and cutting board to trim one book into two, three, or even four small books. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And out of that book that I had, I... I took the word journal and scrapbooking, but you can call it anything you want. I like to call mine a joy journal, even though this is the hashtag journal jubilee um, open collab. Me personally, I like to call it a joy journal because I like to put here everything that kind of, you know, makes me feel joyful, okay? So anyway, so I also took that out of that little book I had. Now this says go on vacation. Um, this is out of the book, though, that gives you, like, tips of how to do this stuff. And I want to get some people because I wanted to, you know, maybe put somebody near the camper. Okay, so here we go with what they say 
that you can do for tips. Okay, but first let me show you these pages because I think that these are really pretty. I think I've found like my favorite type of thing to do is more like pastel, even though I love all the colors over here. I think that this is going to be my favorite page in the book so far because it's very pastel. Okay, so in that book that I was telling you about, it was a book that I got at Dollar Tree, actually. And it was about Tokyo, okay? But I just took out my favorite pictures out of it. And in the book, um, it had like a section of how to journal. Okay, so here's some covers of some books that the lady like gave ideas on. So that one's about Tokyo. That one says, what does that one say? At first I thought that one said mama, but I guess it says mommy. But anyway, um, so here are some tips, okay? It says, have fun adding labels to the covers of your book. All right. And then down here on this big one, it says, you can make books any size or shape, with or without the cover, stapled, stitched, or bound with string. You can even use an elastic band to hold the pages of your book in place. Make it easy to add and subtract pages when necessary. And then now this one, kind of, I think this is the one that caught my eye. The best thing about scrapbooking is that there are no, yeah, this is the one. There are no rules. And that, I really got a lot out of that because I had always said to myself, there are no rules as far as I'm concerned. I put whatever I want in there. But when I saw that today, I was like, well, that's going in my book because that's the way I think, you know. Um, to me, a journal is about your own personal stuff, what you love. Now, if you just love to put pretty pictures in it, fine. I particularly want to put memories in mine, you know. And then down here, let me see, I'm reading it through the camera. So this says, collect items you love, like shop cards. Now, whatever shop cards are, I don't even know what that means, but I'm assuming that it just means, like, things you collect as you go along, you know, but I, don't, I really don't know what it means. But anyway, guys, this is the actual last pages right now of my summer. Um, but I just, uh, my summer, um, you know, Journal Jubilee. I mean, I'm still going to add to it, of course. But right now, I don't think I added. No, I don't. I think I stopped right there. So I just thought these were so pretty, right? Like, it's, you know, it's not me going to these places, but it's just the fact that they're so pretty. I love the colors. And I love the fact that it's giving you tips. You know, just no rules. Just do what you want. You know, like, look at over here. I just loaded the paper up with stickers um so basically um i just thought that i'd give you some of the tips that i just learned basically today so again like i said i went a little bit sticker happy over here but i feel like um you know that's fine that can be my sticker crazy section of the book right because every single sticker that you see here is a sticker that I absolutely love. I think they're beautiful. They bring joy to me to look at these stickers, you know. And I love that card that jumped out at me when I saw that at Dollar Tree that day. When I was in there a couple of weeks, you know, about a month before. Whenever they put the Father's Day cards out. Oh, and there's a vacation. I'm going on vacation in a couple of weeks. So it's going to be at the beach. So you kind of get it, right? Um, I'm not taking a plane, but that had something to do with my grandson. His birthday is in June, and, um, he loves going to the airport and watching the planes take off and come back in. So, anyway, guys, just in case you hadn't seen one of my earlier videos about that plane. So, I just wanted to show you guys, and I'll leave it open on my favorite page. And, again, like I said, um, you know, feel free to join in. Um, we would love to have you and, you know, just in case you, anybody, just in case anybody thought there were particular rules to scrapbooking or junk journaling or joy journaling or glue booking or whatever you want to call it, there's no rules. <laughs> okay. So again, um, you know, I really appreciate you watching, coming along 
Um, I hope you're enjoying these um, Joy Journal videos. I mean, uh, Journal Jubilee videos, and even though mine's a Joy Journal. And um, I guess that's it, guys. And I hope you, you know, I hope you like what I did this week. And I will see you in the next video. Bye now.